Hello and welcome to the MyGuru Online MAT Classroom. Today we're going to take a look at a standard MAT style analogy and work through a technique using what is called the pivot term that will allow you to accurately identify the relationship between the given terms before you even get to the answer choices. So the idea of the pivot term is all predicated on these two double dots between terms B and C. Because what the double dots indicate is that term B is never allowed to pair with term C. And conversely, because term B can't go with term C, furthermore, term A cannot pair with term D. And you may be asking yourself, well, why does this matter? And the reason is you want to evaluate the original capitalized terms within the analogy to best articulate what the original analogy is before going to the answer choices. So the pivot term in a, in a question is the term that cannot relate to the blank and therefore the choices. And this helps you from process standpoint because you don't care about those answer choices when you're evaluating the pivot and that allows you to determine the original re uh, relationship between the terms that are involved before going to the answer choices and helps focus you as you're pairing that blank to just one term as opposed to considering if those uh, answer choices can be paired with anything in the list right so in this case since the blank is term C, the pivot has to be the one that can't pair with term C, which is of course term B. So what we do is we come up to pasta because pasta has to be the pivot term. And we know that we're either going to relate ravioli to pasta or pasta to rice. We don't have to consider pasta against the answer choices. And a general rule of thumb, not a uh, absolute one, is that usually the given relationship pairs one familiar, oops, I can't spell familiar, familiar term to one unfamiliar term. And now you may know what ravioli is, but I think in the abstract, we'd have to say that of the three terms that are up there, ravioli is less common, less familiar than say rice or pasta. And in this case, that is going to be our relationship. We've got ravioli is relating to pasta. Now, the key here is to articulate as best you can what the specific relationship is between ravioli and pasta. And if you know it, you know that we can just say ravioli is a stuffed pasta, basically. So we're looking for an answer choice that is going to be a stuffed rice. Now, the first thing is eliminate answer choices that clearly are not going to be relevant even if you're not sure about all of them. Now, if you have an uncertain term like Arancini, now if you know what Arancini is, this is your answer choice. But let's pretend that you don't. You put a little question mark next to this one and hold on to it because it could be right. Now, wheat is definitely not a stuffed rice. And noodle is basically trying to get you to select a trap B to C relationship of just saying, Pasta is like noodles, ravioli is like rice for some reason. But this is how the MAT works. They try to get you to be caught in those kinds of traps. And then you get down to tortellini. And 
maybe you don't know what tortellini is. Now, it really does on the MAT come down to knowing more arcane trivia kind of information than the next person. But if you can get this down to what we like to call a good 50-50, that is going to be the real name of the game. Now, if you know that tortellini is a pasta, then it's a reversal because it's trying to get you to say pasta instead of rice. And even if you don't know that Arancini balls are deep fried stuffed rice balls, you can still find the correct answer by using this process.